Lancer is effectively book 2.5 in the Stormlight Archive series and uh, follows the young girl Lift, who is on the front cover there, and uh, she's uh, assumed to be Radiant, who hasn't uh, spoken the words yet, so she's not full Radiant, and she uh, munches about with her home spren called Windle. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, but again, like with all my other um, book reviews, if I'm pronouncing things incorrectly, I do apologize. Um, but after saving a young boy who becomes an emperor, uh, she leaves to track down a man known as Darkness, an evil man that tracks down and kills anybody who displays any kind of signs with using Stormlight in any possible way, as in like any abilities whatsoever. So Lyft heads for the city of Yadao in search of Darkness and any food that she can steal because that's what she does. She likes breaking into houses and doesn't want to steal objects. She wants to steal food. Um, <clears throat> I mean, sure. <laughs> There's worse things that she could steal, absolutely, but she doesn't want to kill. Excuse me, that was my computer. I forgot to put it on mute. Um, yeah, so uh, she she's a really cool character and uh, she she's a lot of fun. Uh, she she throws a lot of quips around and she does assume that her spren window is a Voidbringer, so she keeps calling him Voidbringer. And uh, what she can do, which is really cool, is her powers. She calls it being awesome, so she makes herself awesome by making herself slick, so she can slide everywhere, slippery, so nobody can grab hold of her, and that she can slide around and uh, she can be really like almost ice skating on any surface, which is really really cool. Now. I Unlike other Stormlight users and other Radiants, uh, she could be, or would be Radiance that is, she regains Stormlight, not via absorbing Stormlight from uh, spheres uh, infused with it, but through eating. So that's how she replenishes her Stormlight, which is pretty cool. Now, Windor, her spren, is described as being a gardener spren, and he has the appearance of vines, kind of like creeping around and uh, growing, and uh, he helps her infiltrate places or escape by creating handholds and footholds on places, which is really, really cool. And he does try and help her on occasion, but unfortunately she just really doesn't listen, because um, she's quite young, even though she believes that she's going to live forever because she asked a goddess to give her eternal youth. Um, Brandon Sanderson hasn't initially gone in um, on that one yet, uh, but eventually uh, he will do. Now the book is only around 270-ish pages long, and uh, if you read uh, Lyft's interlude chapter in the Words of Radiance novel, uh, you do, you can skip the prologue of this book. But if you didn't read it, if you skip the interludes, I don't recommend you do that. I recommend you read them. But if you skip the interlude, you can uh, in you know just go back and. Uh, you can read it through in this one book, Edge Dancer. Now, there's a lot of comedic writing and action in Edge Dancer, which is really cool, as well as a couple of shocking moments and brutal moments that Lyft witnesses and has to deal with. Now, the fact that it's also a really cool hard book uh, with an awesome, uh, awesome front cover as well. Um, well, it's 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 not unlike the um, other Stormlight books. It's written more in like a teenage teenager novel way. Uh, so. It's it's a, it's it's nowhere near as thick as the other ones. So it's it's. I mean, it can be skipped, I suppose. But Brandon Sanderson has said in uh, the book, in the end, that he's grooming Lyft for a more important role further on down the line. So it's probably advisable that you read it as it shows how she got from one place to another, including the confrontation she has with Darkness, which takes a uh, different turn than I actually anticipated it would. But overall, I thought it was a it was a fantastic read, another great little addition to the Stormlight Archives. I am nearly halfway through Oathbringer, and then after that I've got Dawn Shard to read, and um, which is the other novella for the, uh, which is book 3.5. Um, and I've also got Rhythm of War to read as well, so uh, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. But thank you very much for watching this uh, book review. Yes, it's absolutely worth picking up. It's great. It's around a tenner, I think, on Amazon. Um, but it's well worth it for collectors and just for expanding upon the world and the lore of the Stormlight Archives. But thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.